For Hype Plus News, I'm Terrence Sims. The aftermath of the raids on Diddy's homes in Los Angeles and Miami have caused a viral conversation taking place all over social media. As many are trying to make sense of the chaotic headlines, Diddy denies any wrongdoing. Now, a lot of commentary has come from Diddy's own peers, including former members from his hit reality series, MTV's Making the Band. Several artists seem to be split when it comes to their reactions towards the allegations. Fan favorite Dylon will create a post on social media with the caption, I come from the school of bad boy. A lot of great students graduated from my school. I plan to get my master's at a great Caribbean musical university. We will see where Ja takes me. Until then, as I learned in school, can't stop, won't stop. P.S. Even though I didn't show up to class a lot, I still graduated. Dylon would then address those who were expecting him to speak on the latest surrounding Diddy. He wrote, P.S. Sorry, I don't have any tea. The only tea I have is Bush tea from Granada. In the comments, Stevie J would acknowledge Dylon's post with an emoji. A user on social media would call him out for doing so. I've been following Dylon for years, and not one of you outside members of the band ever comment, though he has shown nothing but love. Awful. Another social media user will agree and chime in. I know Stevie, please stop with love. Now, Dylon wasn't the only member of the band that has come out and broken their silence after the raids on Diddy's homes. Former member Freddie P had this to say on his Instagram. Style on the eye, been getting them since a kid. It's not like we're begging for something. When you work for something, you should be compensated fairly. Any show that has a renewal of seasons, you're supposed to get paid more and more. We built that entire brand. Old Town tried it before us and they failed. We introduced Ghetto to television. Every reality TV has piggybacked from our formula using our former producers or sauce from Flavor of Love to Real Housewives. And he, Diddy, really appeared. There was no all black cast on reality TV before us. We was being booked over 100K a show. They were telling us it was promotional or kids giving us 30 to 40 split. Not once or twice, over 30 times. I would never like these guys. He made 43 million second season alone on contract renewal off our sweat and tears. Then his staff stole millions from shows. They were all in cahoots. Then he took the brand we created and made two more franchises that wouldn't have been that big without our labor. Green light forever. I don't want peace. I'm here to watch his head roll. In addition to Dylan and Freddie P, Enes would appear on a recent segment during News Nation to discuss his experience working with Diddy and Bad Boy Records on making the band. Enes would speak on a different experience than Freddie P. Basically, we, we was never exposed or witnessed any, anything of that nature. Basically, when uh, Diddy was around, it was all music talk, all music business, recording industry talk. It's a real delicate subject because um, I've did business with him for over 20 years. But when it ever is sexual allegations involved, it's a real big deal. So we, we'll just have to see as the story develops. But dealing with Puff over the over the years, he, he definitely made me a better musician and a stronger writer. Anytime we was around, it was just all music. Now, journalist Natasha Zovis would ask Ines to clarify his own comments when he referred to the Diddy allegations as a smear campaign. In response, Ines would say, "When I say smear campaign, I want I mean it's like a, a monkey see, monkey do kind of thing. Cassie came out, and then others came out. Some of these allegations are over a span of twenty to thirty years. So, like I said, you know, no charges have been made. You know, we, we all see an unfolding on TV as far as the raid. We just gonna have to sit back and, and see as it plays out in court if charges are actually brung up. What do you think of the bad boys artists like Dylan?" Freddie P and Enes speaking out. So far, it looks as though Sarah and Baby haven't publicly shared their responses. Let us know in the comments below. Stay up to date with the latest news and comedy by subscribing here to our YouTube channel. Check out Hype Market for all your cool and original merchandise. And for your YouTube viewers, if you like this story, send us a super thanks by hitting the button below and you can tip us what you want to show your support. For Hype Plus News, I'm Terrence Sims.